Hello. Today my partner and I will explain to you both osmosis and plasmolysis. To do this, we have set up an experiment with a leaf from an elodia plant. In this experiment, we triggered on osmosis and plasmolysis. As we can see here, we have a photo of multiple elodia cells. Here circled in black are the cell walls. In the green circles, we can see cytoplasm, and in the red circles, there are chloroplasts. As for osmosis, it is the transfer of water th through cells without energy. This is important because the water firms the cell walls and the plant itself. Hello. In this slide, I will be explaining plasmosis. However, before that, I will show you where the different organelles are. Here we can see the cell walls of the cells of the elodia plant, and here we can see the cytoplasm. The chloroplasts are here. In plasmolysis, it's when the cytoplasm splits from the wall and is no longer touching it and contracts into the middle. This happens because during osmosis, we used salt water, so the salt attracted the water out of the cell and made it so that the cytoplasm became dry and clumped up, contracting. Thank you for listening to our explanation.